There is, uh, Josh Goblin, everyone. There is a tradition on Joko Cruise. The performer who was booked last receives a thousand piece Ravensburger practice <laughs> puzzle. Well, there's been a lot of chanting, and there's been one that I've wanted to hear. Could we do, could we have the room do a Ravensburger? Clap, 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 clap. Ravensburger! 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 show last night. It was awesome. Very excited to have them back. I love bringing improvisers on Joko Cruise. Uh, and we don't, we haven't brought like an existing group ever. We sort of pick and choose various talented improvisers. But as such, as those of you who were here last night know, they don't have an established group name. Every improv group worth their salt needs a shitty terrible pun-based name. So, and they were workshopping some. Last night, they came out as Opposites Attractor. <laughs> but for this show, will you please welcome to the stage, Bamford, that's with an exclamation point, they insist that I do the jazz hands, Bamford, the Maria Bamford Tribute Experience. to improvise for you, and uh, we are going to improvise based off of some monologues from a special guest. Uh, they will, you will yell out uh, a suggestion for them to tell the story, and then we will improvise based on the stories that our monologist tells. And for this show tonight, our monologist, please welcome to the stage from Dimension 20, right here on the ship, Ali Beardsley! absolute pleasure of telling a little story to kick us off. All I need is a suggestion of anything at all. Paper clip! I heard a few things. There's something here? Paper clip. Paper clip? Okay. <laughs> um, hmm. Great. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to go with your first thought even if it's embarrassing. Okay, when I was <laughs> in middle school, I got really, I, okay, we're gonna flash back even f further back. As a child, I was really obsessed with being a spy, which I think is kind of normal. But I took it to another level. Like I would unplug the phone, take the receiver off, <laughs> plug it back in, listen to my mom's conversations with her friends. Um, <laughs> yes, thank you. Kind of like, I just like heard a lot I just knew about everyone's like marital status. <laughs> it was just kind of like kind of crazy. Um, so my life as a spy, of course, brought me to being obsessed with picking locks, and that's where a paperclip comes in. I, if there was YouTube, thank God there wasn't YouTube. <laughs> I would the the side of the internet that I would be on would be like so libertarian prepper. <laughs> like, <laughs> I would be the, the amount of water in my like childhood bedroom that would be like stored just in case. Um, I so 
So I got really obsessed with lock picking, which at that time meant going to the library and checking out books which they had about <laughs> lock picking at my local library. And no joke, one of them was, you know like those, um, it's kind of like a, a, I don't know, you'd like bring it to a job interview or something. It's like a leather bound hardcover outside with clear slips on the inside, and someone had printed out lock picking info and put it, kind of made a homemade book of sorts. Um, I just, honestly, I really wish I could meet that person. I'm like, also the librarian was like, yeah, we'll add this to the Dewey Decimal System. <laughs> like, put a barcode on this person's like, homemade portfolio about lock picking. Um, I never successfully picked a lock, which is should make us all feel good because I was nine years old. Uh, but I did try, and one time my church growing up would always go to Raging Waters, which is how they get you. <laughs> um, and, uh, we're, so we're at Raging Waters, and I this wasn't with uh, with a. Paper clip. This was a zip tie, and I read in my homemade book by <laughs> my homemade book about lock picking that was hardcover. Uh, I learned that you can kind of shove a zip tie, or so they say. I feel like this was all made up. I'm realizing right now. It was, like, it was a book of lies. One of two book of lies that were huge in my life at the time. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who put the Bible in the library, but it was handwritten. Um, I had I had this zip tie. And it was like the end of the zip tie. You like jam into a a lock, and it, and it'll pop right open. What? It'll pop right. That's what exactly. <laughs> Incredible. And I was like, I am gonna do this at Raging Waters. There's lockers everywhere. I, it wasn't even like that I wanted to steal, obviously. I was like steal from corporations, not individuals. Uh, and so I... <laughs> even at a young age, I was stealing from Barnes & Noble, which, now they're gone. I, <laughs> I do take responsibility. Um, no, but anyway, this, this is really leading up to a kind of anticlimactic moment, but I'm trying to steal... <laughs> I'm trying to steal out of this locker with a way too big zip tie. <laughs> it's so long, and I, I'm kind of <laughs> jamming it in. And then the pastor, my youth pastor, super cool, walks in. You know he's got a soul patch. Walks in, holding his guitar case. <laughs> walks in. And catches me. And I, like, you know, I know, that's really scary. The blood rushes out of my face. I'm like, oh my god, I'm busted. But what I was doing was so weird. <laughs> he, had, he didn't know. <laughs> there was no busted moment. He was like, "Are you? Do you need help?" <laughs> what are you doing? I was just like, "Oh yeah, uh, I was kind of putting the zip tie on this lock. Uh, done." And then I ran away. Um, so that's that's the whole story. <laughs> for your library. Get out, Raphael. Put them there. I made most of these last night. This one's how to pick locks. This one is what lasers are doing to our minds. I drew most of these illustrations myself. Wonderful, wonderful. And it's bound in leather? Bound in leather. Yeah, leather. Raphael, you do the best work. You do the best work. Thank you, Lydia. Nobody appreciates what I do around here with you. Why, come around here. Look over my shoulder. Look what I'm working on. Am I allowed back here? Yes. Wow, this is what the back of the library looks like. Yes, go around those books. Oh, yeah, wow. Come through here. What are you working on, Lydia? I'm working on this parchment. Wow, are you handwriting the Bible? Yes, it's all about the little clasps. 
They go behind your ear. And when the women and men wear earrings, the little clasps. I've illustrated all the little clasps and I've written about them. Where they're made, how they smell, uh, how much tension you can place on the clasps. I tell you, we're going to make so much money selling our handmade books. <laughs> At the end there, you didn't sound as enthusiastic as you used to be. <laughs> Do you really not think this is going to work, Lydia? Yeah! I don't know! I love her! I love her! You know me too well! I have doubts! Lydia, Lydia! You have doubts, sure, but look what you've accomplished so far! You've added a whole book to the Bible about <laughs> earring clasps! Feel it in your heart. Excuse me. Um, do you have any books about stealing library books? <laughs> come in, just come in. <laughs> it's a screen door. We oh. can see you, but I need safety. You're the guy who lives in the woods. Yeah, I'm also the guy, fun fact, who's provided many of the books for this very library. Whoa, everyone says you're haunted. <laughs> If you mean there's a soul inside here, then yes. <laughs> yeah, so you're our first customer, you know. Oh, cool. Um, yeah, I sort of um, was wondering, I'm trying to like turn to a life of crime to get my parents' attention. I have a whole wheelbarrow of books. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why do you want to turn to a life of crime? You seem like an outstanding citizen. Because I hate the new baby. They had a new baby. Oh. <laughs>
Well, if what I'm gathering from Maureen is correct, she feels like you try to solve the problems when you re she really just wants you to listen to the problems. And when she wants you to solve the problems, that's the time that you just listen to. Yes, well, Maureen, that's she's exactly how I feel. Thank you. Why would she tell me what the problem was if she didn't want me to solve it? She knows I love her. Of course I don't look for a solution. Why would I just sit there and tell her how hard it is and say, oh yeah, that seems hard. Why Sometimes you just it? want a shoulder to oh. cry on. Are you done? You didn't say over. <laughs> Sometimes you just want a shoulder to cry over. <laughs> Tommy. Tommy, tell her that I miss going out on dates when she used to try on dates and take me out and play the dates. Tell her, Tommy! I, okay, I'm not here! <laughs> Yeah, 
T.Y. Beanie Babies. Huge. I grew up, my parents did this thing that I feel like lower middle class people do where they put their children in situations, like they saved and they put me in private school for kindergarten through fifth grade. In their mind, they're like, this is it. This is the leg up that my child needs. No, that just meant I was around the richest fucking kids at all times. Any sort of fad that took over, everybody was like decked out. I had a girl in my class who had a closet just for her Beanie Babies. Her dad invented Journey's Shoes Store. <laughs> Not to name drop. <laughs> Journey's in the mall. Um, so, anyway, I'm clearly, I need to call my therapist. Uh, but anyway, so, so Beanie Babies hit, it hit hard. I decided, I, as a resourceful young child, I was like, okay, we can't get the full size. I'm gonna go for the McDonald's Beanie Babies. There's like six to collect at any given time. <laughs> It's the price of a Happy Meal, I'm already getting those. Uh, and I just, you know, like, I don't know, with, with, there, there's always like one rare one. You can't really complete a McDonald's anything without eating their breakfast, lunch, and dinner like you're making a goddamn documentary. Um, so, so, I had a best friend, and I would go, um, ski, I would go like paintballing. We, you know, it was like that friend that like I got to be her plus one to like the good life. <laughs> and uh, she, you know, she had a shit ton of beauty babies, so many that when she was kind of over it, she gave me eight trash bags full of beauty babies. <laughs> That's so many Beanie Babies! That's maybe a kilo of Beanie Babies. Like, I'm like... And I kind of realized, I was like, oh, if I'm just kind of like into things one step behind everyone, I could kind of like live that life. Like, I got like a ton of Goosebump books from her. I got all these Beanie Babies from her. Um, and... I... Okay. Hippopotamus running with that. We're just kind of unpacking my childhood <laughs> drama on the world stage. Uh, you know, okay, so I have all these Beanie Babies. I know we're all wondering, was Princess Diana in there? And the answer is yes. She was in a glass case. She was in a trash bag. <laughs> among many other trash bags, this incredibly rare bear. For those of you who didn't partake, she's purple, she's got a white rose, she's incredible, she's worth a lot of money. And I didn't know that. <laughs> so I think you can tell where I'm going with this. I ripped the tags off, I'm, I'm in the backyard, you know. At a certain point she became a dog toy. Um, and this is disrespectful, like, I'm, I'm acknowledging that. Uh, there were a lot of extremely rare bears. I don't, know, I don't know why they picked the bears. They were all kind of like limited edition bears. Uh, and they, they went to waste. And that is the end of the story. <laughs> Money? Well, that's 
supposed to say? Oh, yes. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, money. Can you, can you turn around so I can see what you're doing? No, we're doing it this way because we know you're dead. <laughs> My kid's really gonna love this, man. Thank yeah, it's really cool, right? It's the Princess Diana limited edition. Yeah. Shh, don't say it. What? I'm sorry. You're gonna get me killed. <laughs> yeah, there are crazy moms all over the city. Oops. Wait. I'm out of here. <laughs> I guess the jig is up. No, I just this is just for my kid. You thought I was just a kid spy. I'm a mom. <laughs> Flesh and blood. I, I don't think people are right. This is not going to be currency in ten years. These beanie beans. No one's going to care. Oh, it's going to be the only currency there is. Pure beanie baby trading. Nothing else. Legumes, fungi, all the other stuff we'll probably still be eating. We're gonna pay for it and be babies. Take it out of there. Really? Yeah. But what about the whole? If you just give it to me, I can't like, you know, seem tough and, and rough and tell my kid that I like beat someone up for it. Why do you want to tell your kid you beat someone up for it? I don't have a kid. I'm so sorry. <laughs> bring to lunch today. I have lobster with a little bit of caviar. Would anyone like to trade? I brought a raven's burger. Ooh. <laughs> well, your mom owned the Auntie Ames at the mall, so you're very, very wealthy. I have a cup of steam. <laughs> what is it? A cup of steam? I have a cup of steam. <laughs> That's all you brought for lunch? Yeah, she said, it's Friday, we're going to splurge. We're going to heat up the water for you. <laughs> and she put in a little bag. And she put in a cup of steam to share with my friend. <laughs> and do you even have a chair? No, his mom didn't pay for it. Oh, Chairs are extra at this elementary school. <laughs> We didn't do a light thing, we didn't do a 
we should do it organically. Organically. Or we're going to end this thing. They're watching how the sausage is made, so to speak, which is cool for them, but we have to wrap it up. I saw someone like waving and frantically from the side. Just waving? From the way he's telling us he's going to kill us. Why is he going to kill us? He's pointing at us. He's pointing at us. He's always oh, stabbing us with a microphone. He's, he wants he's to, telling us. Let's do this. A, okay. quick, a quick musical number with a lot of dancing. Oh, that sounds great. That sounds great. There's no time. Just end it. All right. Really? Quick. Go uh, ahead. Yeah? Do a musical number. All right. Everybody spin as many times as you can. tonight will be Aaron Keefe and Vico Ortiz. Yeah. All right, uh, dinner, go team.